Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about how to synchronize database in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So, at here, this feature is not available with SSMS. So, we need to use at here DB Forge Studio 2019 for SQL Server. And here, you can find your database synchron synchronized JSON. Now, here, after the first, you select this option. Now, here, after we need to provide add here suitable connection. So let's click add here new connection. Now here after let's skip the connection. So add here SQL Server. Now here authentication. SQL Server authentication. Now here let's log in with SA and here keep the password. Now here after if you want then here you can access or keep database. So this is the optional part. Now here after click on test. So right here it's the successfully connected. Now here after click on connect. Now here you can uh, use. Now here after the next option is add here. So first uh, add here. We need to use add here new data comparison. So new data comparison. So add here database selected. Renewable PC. Now here after. So add here, let's give for uh, add here, Adam, going to select Adam. So you can select anyone according to requirement. Now here also, after I'm going to give add here connection. So add here, not this one. Let's so uh, create add here, new connection. So add here, this is for SQL Server. Now here I'm going to use SA, give the password. And here after going to select add here, here you can find or database JSON. Now here if you want then here you can give document category this option. Click on connect or test connection. So here after click on OK. So add here this is now here this is the source and here this is the target. Now here after let's click on next and here this is the Comparison is going on auto mapping compare prison option. Click on next and here after. So, add here this is some. So, if you take the cursor here, you get warning com object to compare have no key. Now, here after click on compare and click on yes. So, add here this the first comparing data. So at here you can find to add here different to and here equal 24. So this is the equal record and here you can find different to. Now if you click add here different so this is the source point department and here 0 0 and here this is the identical 3 and here 3 only in target 3. So this is the department here. Now this is at here only source and here this is the here identical for here only target 0 now here after the next is after comparing click add here synchronize or wizard so click there synchronize wizard now here after this option is i think suitable open the synchronization script in the internal editor if you want then here you can generate the file at this spot or you can change the files now here you can use execute the script directly against the target. So I'm going to use add here first option. Now here after click next and here this is the option click next and here this is the foreign and primary key kind of warning. Now here after click on synchronize. So add here this is the query that generated. So this is the query of synchronize. So add here did it edge or where. Now here after if you want then here you can execute this query. So here you can find or uh, 10 changes language setting of and here there is no any error. Some warnings are there. And here line 14 Adam versus JSON SQL Server and here SQL Server 17. So this is the simplest way we, we can synchronize database in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So for synchronization, you need to use DB4 Studio 2019 for SQL Server. After that, you can synchronize. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now, 
in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video and one more thing here kiss and kitty it's still going so thank you